never thought I would stand up on the day of my final ride and be filled with the gratitude that I am now. I used to worry about what I would say in my graduation speech. Unlike the people standing before me, I didn't used to be the little tenderfoot who strived to be on red team someday. And so I would rack my brain for, some, for what I could possibly say on the day that is today. I realized as I was writing this speech that I had too many words and too little time. First and foremost, I want to thank the Kellers and Pam for your dedication and passion for this team. It has been such an honor to ride for you. To Pat and Dee Dee, even though I hated it, you always gave me such a good reason to wake up at the crack of dawn. I appreciate your patience through my course debacle for the last year. To all of our lovely monitors and um, costume moms, it is a brave undertaking to adopt 36 teenagers, and yet you do it with so much love and compassion, and I cannot thank you enough for your dedication to every single person in this arena. To all of the flag dads, there's too many of you to name, but I'm really sorry if my horse has ever run you over. Um, thank you so much for helping her and literally shoving her onto every trailer she's had to go in. To the Haggett family, thank you so much for generously allowing me to ride Beastie in Piper's place. John, I'm so excited for you to be on Red Team, and I know you're going to be amazing. To Mike and Brittany, you have both enhanced this team in unimaginable ways. I cannot thank you enough for instilling confidence and drive into Red Team. Your words of wisdom and encouragement are undoubtedly the mantras of every rider who strives for success. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Mom, thank you for becoming a horse person when I needed it most. Your perseverance with Piper and belief in me literally saved my life. I know it scared the crap out of you to watch your daughter get reared at, kicked at, and run into the ground, but it was your support that made me push through. Thank you for pushing me into the person that I've become today. Dad, I think it's time to finally admit that you don't like Piper. <laughs> I know this isn't really your thing, but the fact that you sat on dusty bleachers right after ride means so much more than your taste in extracurricular activities. Thank you for driving me to practices, teaching me to drive the trailer, and picking up hay. I cannot thank you enough for your love and support, even though you'd rather be in the mountains. <laughs> to Sarah Beeson, thank you for being my sister in horse-related crime and forcing me to not take myself so seriously. You make the barn and just life in general a much brighter place. Thank you for entrusting me with Harley and making my senior year all the more special. Piper and I love you both immensely. To Alyssa Martinez, thank you for showing me how to make this team my family and providing infinite support to Piper and I. I know you will always be our biggest fans. To Miss Jaylee Marie, I know you're watching at this at the beach, and I hate you for it, but I forgive you. I cannot thank you enough for the ways you have changed my life this year. It has been a whirlwind, so I can, but I can always count on you to be a constant. So constant, in fact, that I'm still not entirely sure you ever left. If you showed up in this arena tonight, I wouldn't even bat an eye. I will be thanking you every minute that I'm on this horse, on my horse, and riding for this arena for the last time. And lastly, to Red Tank. When she was graduating last stock show, Alyssa told me, if we didn't leave, there would be nowhere for you to go. I know that all the seniors who sit here before me are full of disappointment and probably a lot of regret. But our grad with our graduation comes the opportunity for our teammates to fill some really big shoes. I don't know if the next graduating class will have the best year of their lives or be leaving with the same dissatisfaction in a year. But in the meantime, I encourage you all to recognize the gift that is in front of you. Through tragic events, car accidents, and global pandemics, this team has genuinely become a sight to behold. Please be diligent to continue the unity and solidarity that is present in this arena tonight. We're leaving it up to you. You will never experience anything like this, and genuinely, you will be standing up here a year from now and not know where the time has gone. Thank you. <laughs>